I'm going to show you how to do an insulin injection. You're going to be doing an insulin injection whenever a child has something to eat where you're matching the insulin to the food that they're eating or when their blood glucose level is high and you're giving extra insulin to bring the blood glucose level back down to the target range. I'm going to show you how to use an insulin pen. There are different insulin pens to fit different insulins. This pen is a Novo Pen Echo and it fits Novo insulin, so Novo Rapid and Levomir insulins. When you take the lid off the pen, you can see that this pen is refillable with insulin already inside the pen. Each insulin has a different colour on the top of the pen so that you can always recognise have you got the right insulin. This is a demo pen, so it's white, but your pen will have a colour. If you look in the window, you can also see a bung, and that bung gives you an indication as to how much insulin you've got left in the pen. So the bung is here, so I've got this amount of insulin still left to go. Your insulin pen can be kept at room temperature, it can be kept at room temperature for one month. Spare insulin needs to be stored in the fridge. Before proceeding with the injection, you need to make sure your hands are clean. So wash your hands before you start. Now you've washed your hands, you're going to put a new needle on the pen device. There are different size needles and the needle length that you use will depend on your child and that needs to be a conversation with your healthcare team. This needle is a four millimetre needle, which I'm going to demonstrate. You peel off the end, and then this pushes and twists on the end of the pen device. Twist until you can't tighten it any further. Take off the clear plastic lid, and then, being careful, take off the needle cover. Before you perform any injection, you need to always perform what we call an air shot. You're pushing a small amount of insulin through the needle to get rid of the air. If you forgot to do this, your next injection dose would be much less than you thought you were giving. Looking at the pen, you can see a dial with numbers on it. On this particular pen, each line is equivalent to half a unit. And when I turn the dial, you'll hear clicks. Each click is equivalent to half a unit. So I'm going to dial up four clicks, which is two units for an air shot. I've dialed four. With a needle facing the ceiling, I'm going to push on the end of the pen. And you expect to see some insulin escaping from the needle. If you don't see anything coming out the end, repeat the process again with another two units as an air shot. Having done that, you're now ready to give the injection. Places that you can do your insulin injection will depend on the age of the child and their own preference. But sites include the arm, around the back of the arm, the tummy, if you imagine your belly button, a happy smiley face around the belly button is where you can do the injection, the legs on the outer aspect of the thighs and the buttocks. And each child will have a preference as to where they have their injection. The important point is that the sites get rotated, so you don't use the same place for every single injection. If you do that, there's a chance that the injection sites could become very lumpy and the insulin would stop working. Having decided where you're going to do the injection, you now need to give the insulin injection. So I'm going to use this injection device to demonstrate. So picking up your pen, you need to remember to dial the number of units that you're going to give. So I'm going to dial a number of units here. You don't need to use what we used to refer to as a pinch up technique, where you pinch the skin and then inject, because the needles are so small that there isn't a worry about them going too deep. So you're going to go in at a 90 degree angle and then once you've injected into the skin, move your thumb to the end of the pen and push down. Once you've pushed as far as you can go, you're going to delay removing the needle for a count of 10. 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. At this point, you can take the needle away from the skin and you've done your insulin injection. To remove the needle from the pen, do not put the small needle cover back on because of the risk that you'll cause injury to yourself. Instead, use the plastic cover and carefully place it back on the pen and twist off. And then the needle can be disposed of in your sharps box. Put your pen lid back on and you've done your insulin injection. Now some pen devices have memories on the end. So this particular pen has a memory on the base of it. So if I pull the lid out and then push it back in, it will tell me the number of units that was last injected and also how many hours ago it was given. So that can be a helpful reminder if you can't remember when you last gave an insulin injection.